Hey dudes, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are talking about the gospel. What is Christianity? What is Christianity? Disclaimer, this is an incredibly difficult topic to talk about in one video because there are so many concepts that don't make logical human sense, which is actually great. So bear with, it's going to be good. And if you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments and we will get around to doing some more videos to explain it better. So we start off with point one, love. God exists. He is three in one, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. God is love and perfection. So if you're starting off this video with hurt feelings towards God, just try and park those to the side for the moment because we really are talking about God who is love in its purest form. Out of God's divine love, he creates the world, life and therefore us and it's good. Point two, the fall. The fall is the moment of separation from us and God. Because God is 100% perfection, anything with even a hint of bad would compromise that 100% and therefore the two cannot coexist. So in the Bible, when Eve ate from the tree she was commanded not to, in that moment she rejected God's authority. She didn't trust him and she had her eyes fixed on what she could gain from the fruit and Adam did the same. Because it's behaviour against God that stems from rejection of God in our hearts. This means that it can be anything large or small. It could be mass murder, unkind thoughts, or denying who God is. And we are all guilty of some form of sin. And so we come to point three, Jesus. Jesus is God. Jesus is the son of God the Father. Jesus came to earth as a baby. As both God and man, he experienced human life, performed miracles, cared for outcasts, and all around pointed people back to God. When he was crucified, although innocent, he was actually bridging over separation between sinners us and God. Therefore, through Jesus, we can be forgiven for our sins and have a new, perfect, clean slate with no risk of compromising God's 100% perfection. And point four, our response. If you want God in your life and you want to be in relationship with him, it takes three things. Acceptance that you're a sinner, asking God to forgive you, and living out your life with the aim to draw closer to God's ways and away from sin. If you slip up and sin, which we all do daily, it's okay. Because when you give your heart to Jesus, your name is written in the book of life. And if you don't want a restored relationship with God, that's fine, that's up to you. But it's much better to make an informed decision about this. So inform yourself about God's love before you reject it. And the best way to do that is directly from him in prayer or reading his word. Also, when you think of every positive adjective out there and rightly pin those on God and his character, when you think about what it means to be separated from that, that is a dark place to be. And I think people underplay how much God does not want that for us. He does not enjoy that. He doesn't want that for you. He, as God, would sacrifice himself to be with you. That's a big thing to brush over. So that is it. That is the gospel. That is the good news of Jesus. That is what Christianity is. Like I say, there's lots I've missed out. So lots more videos to come on things like this. So if there are any specific topics, questions you've got, chuck them in the comments and I'll be sure to take those on board for future videos. But for now, like if you liked it, comment your comments, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!